everyone, this is Monique, um, filming from Hamilton, New Zealand, and uh, this is my first ever journal flip through video that I'll be making. I am using a larger camera than what I wanted to, so I do apologise if my voice is too loud for the video, but um, anyway, let's, let's get started. So this is my journal. Um, over here you can see that it used to be pink and green at the top there and oops sorry and I just decided to cover it with self-stained coffee paper and um, I clipped these little pictures out from beautiful gift wrapping um, uh, and I also attached a ribbon at the end here that is a similar color as the page divider ribbon and here that's stuck in there. The back there's nothing much. I did take some gold spray paint and just splatter it around to give that I don't know that that vintage that vintage uh, kind of look. And it's funny because when we open my journal, um, the vintage feel kind of falls away because there's just so much happening on this front page. Except there is these travel stamp washi border tape that I used. And um, that's probably the only vintage thing that remains on this page. And um, it's just really beautiful. This was my first ever washi tape that I bought. And so, yeah, this is my title page. A little bit of many, many things. And it's quite fitting because this um, journal of mine is like my thoughts and feelings on many, many different kind of things. Here we have just a little gift tag that I got from a handmade journal that I purchased from France and uh, the lady who made this journal just wrote me a little handwritten note as a tag to the gift and I just decided to put that in. Here is Rick and Morty, oops, sorry I keep on bumping the thing. Here's Rick and Morty from my favourite TV show, Rick and Morty. And yeah, I just absolutely love that show. It's so funny and so smart. And so you'll see these pictures dotted around from Rick and Morty all over the place. Over here is just a little pocket I've attached to the inside page. And that is my scrap, scrap paper holder. And I'll probably take this out when I'm done with done with this journal but it's just readily accessible over here and yeah I'll, I'll be able to use these scrap papers in due time okay so here's a owl I painted I just googled an image and painted that and I started this journal the 2nd of October 2017 and um, yeah going with those Going along with those washi tape border, the vintage washi tape. It changes as I started buying more and more, but in the first half of the journal, it's mostly just these beautiful vintage uh, washi tape. And here we see, I usually put the date, and I then put a topic, compulsion to do everything at once. And the reason I put a topic is because in the past I used to write my journals like day to day with the events that happened, uh, the things people had said and whatnot and I don't do that anymore. I mean it's great that people still do that because it shows a little snapshot of, of your life at that specific moment in time. I don't do that anymore because um, I realised that my life was a little bit boring <laughs> and what I wanted my journals to be is like a book full of lessons that I've learned. Um, throughout life that I can then pass down to my children and um, they can <laughs> read how their mother had learned specific lessons and um, and that's why I write topically so that I, I write a topic and then I write all about it and just the lessons I've learned from it so that I can send that along down to my children and hopefully they'll find it interesting. <laughs> so yeah, here we see this topic is Gender, love, homosexuality, gay pride, righteousness, and identity. I just write my little viewpoint on it and the biblical viewpoint on it. Here is a favorite song of mine by 
Emma Neem and the Dr. Dre and Skylar Grey. I need a doctor and it's my utmost favourite song. Oops, sorry. Um, here I just added a little wedding invitation from a friend's wedding that we went to. And um, yeah, here I just added, I found some tissue paper paper that I glued on and it was really cool because you can still see the lines um, through through this paper and again just this um, beautiful pictures I cut out from that gift wrapping and this topic is leaving home a saint and reaching work a sinner and it's quite funny because um, I in the mornings I spend time with God and I read the Bible and I get ready then for work and I hit the road to go to work and as soon as I do I get so frustrated with people that don't use their indicators and um and yeah so it's just my um how I try to be uh, I don't know more accepting more more patient in my driving to work and here you can see a little picture that I drew and that's me going doot, doot, get out of the way use your indicators <laughs> here's a vent vent type of that's just to get my frustrations out and that's specifically about my weight so we'll just carry on through there quite quickly. These little things here were the name tags for the placeholders of my friend's wedding that I went to and I decided to keep that because it was so beautiful and it's got that beautiful little shimmer. I decided to devote this page to my husband and I, my beautiful husband, and I just drew some patterns to go along the background of this spread. And yeah. So yeah, just heaps of writing. I went through a little phase of making page dividers or rather date dividers between different dates and um, I would do little patterns in that and I thought that just looked pretty cool so I did that and here we see my first ever business card that a friend amazing amazing talented friend made for me and um, that was the first one and the next pair we just changed a little bit of what we were doing just to make it a bit more clear and yeah so it's the first batch and the second batch just to see the little tiny um, minuscule differences and, and yeah. yeah so here is just more and more writing lots of writing and one thing you'll see a lot in my journals is that I absolutely adore gold I think every page is a little bit of gold at least because <laughs> um, I just love how it hits the light and it pops out um, and yeah I just I love gold and I try and use it as much as I can here you'll see little gold roses that I got out from a card I have had for quite a while and um, yeah just again those the patterns that I've made to divide the days over there. Now here is a topic I wrote about and it says the root of all evil and it's not, it's, I talk about money and it's, it's not the root of all evil but um, I, I just thought that was a cool little title and the reason I have these sticky notes is because my husband and I, we have a lot of friends that we talk about about financial matters and whatnot and they've been a big help to us but I do just cover their names just um, to give them privacy and Especially talking about financial matters I don't want to be throwing that all around the internet so yeah that's just why these um, sticky notes are covering that love of money and over here we see there's a paper clip that's just holding a couple of pages together and that's just because it talks about money throughout those couple of pages and here we are to the new year, this year 2018, and I'm not sure if I like this spread at all really. It's blue, and um, I decided to write in black pen from this first um, blue entry I did, just because I think that black fits my borders a lot better, and it's just easier. Here is a Christmas card that my husband made me. He bought me a bird or a budgie bird for Christmas and I thought that was absolutely amazing it gave me something to love and cherish and take uh, take care of rather yeah that's how I write just heaps of writing 
and I absolutely adore these stickers here. They're not die cuts, they're stickers, which is awesome. You just peel it off and stick it in. And I absolutely love the color scheme. Sorry about that, my dog went a bit crazy. I love the color scheme of them. Opal is my favorite gemstone, and I like how it kind of mimics that, um, that shimmer of a beautiful, placid opal shimmer. Color, <laughs> if that makes sense. I just really, really love it. And so yeah, just need some more writing. And here is my, whoops, my husband and myself again. And this picture must be about uh, six, seven years old by now. <laughs> just thought I'd enter that. Oh, and again, this beautiful opal shimmery stickers with the gold that shines through. I absolutely love it. Some more glittery stickers over there. That's one of my favorite quotes here and it says, Now to live would be an awfully great adventure. And that's from Peter Pan. I absolutely love that quote. Ever since I wrote this in the book, and my husband and I have been trying to get out of our way to try new things and to just live life like an adventure. I don't know, just, <laughs> just an adventure and enjoy it as we go. Now, I really enjoy this spread. I just glued some green paper to the back and I wrote freehand, which I really, really love. And I think my next journal, I will opt for a, a blank page so I can freehand all the way down. And this topic is the face of my demon and my facing it. And this is another reason why I journal quite a bit. This topic specifically is about me um, managing my anxiety disorder and how I just wrote a little bit of a history, how it started and how I've been managing it. And now I've actually come to a stage in my life where I feel I am at a good enough place to start going off my medication and so some days it's good, some days it's a bit challenging so I do write about my feelings and my thoughts and just try and get as much of that out of my system so I can have it on paper and I can see how I truly feel about it and so yeah, that's, that's another reason I journal, it's just for healing purposes if, if that makes sense. So yeah, heaps more writing. My day topic and writing, day topic and writing. <laughs> yeah. Here is 10 things that I love and 10 things that I hate. It's good to notice that I have more things that I can think of that I do like than things that I do not. So yeah. Here is just a little bit of artwork, a little watercolour stag that I drew with the, inside this moon with a pop of gold. I just love that gold so much. So yeah, I only have a minute left so I'll quickly go through it. I splattered some coffee on a page and outlined it with a pencil and just drew a little lady with a head piece on that. I love burlesque, the dancing. I don't know why, I just think it's cool and I like the fashion and the passion and yeah. Um, we went to Auckland for the stage to visit my sister and we went to Cleaver & Co, the restaurant and I decided from now on I'll make little restaurant review cards just so we remember how our experience was and whether we should go back or not. The same day we played mini golf with my sister and here we see Zane obviously won because Zane is just so good at things like that. So yeah, just writing, writing. Browsers is my absolute favorite bookstore. I never leave that place without buying an item. And I just love the setup of the shop. It's vintage with old cameras and books everywhere. And yeah, I just, I love the shop. I love being in there. I love buying books from there. This is just a little gift voucher a friend gave me for a massage. A <laughs> gift voucher a friend gave me for Christmas. Yeah group is just the church that we go to absolutely beautiful washi tape border there of the gold feathers that you can find on AliExpress. AliExpress. Here's another restaurant review and 
I also decided to just write down a little bit of what the politics were doing in this time that I was going through my own changes and learning my own lessons. Here we see the assisted suicide bill is in high debate here in New Zealand at the moment. Um, Trump is still president in America and has yet to enforce uh, stricter gun laws. Jacinda Ardern is our female Prime Minister here in New Zealand and she is pregnant. And so yeah, um, capital gains and all that on debate. And um, yeah, I thought that would be a good idea to do as well. And just to stick with this gold and brown spread that I absolutely adore is another song that I really love. It's Joy on Reckes and the song is called Shelter. And um, I just drew some floral motifs around the corners of the page. And yeah, beautiful song. You can search it out. I love that song so much. I have a friend called Trish Mason who also makes videos and she was actually the main inspiration for me doing this flip through video but um, I just remember seeing her flip through videos on YouTube and I always used to have these uh, washi tapes that were one colour sparkly washi tapes and I just always absolutely loved it so when I saw it on AliExpress I just absolutely had to get it and I really do love it and yeah, so go check out her videos, it's absolutely awesome, her voice is so soothing and lovely to listen to. So yeah, just carrying on from that, there's some more Rick and Morty stickers. And these die cuts I got from a warehouse here in New Zealand, um, really pretty, I had them for so long now I just thought I should use them. So yeah, and that's the end of my journal and the reason why I journal and what I journal and how I journal and um, basically yeah it's just to have a re record or record of the lessons I've learned that I can share with my children as they near my age so that they can see what their mother has been through and maybe I can also help them but it also helps me to deal with my emotions and my trials as I go off my medication and I absolutely love arts and crafts and that's also why I make my books pretty and yeah so thank you so much for watching my video and if you'd like to you can subscribe I'll be pushing out more videos very soon and yeah I fully enjoyed this and I will see you guys later bye bye